What we're going to look at in this video is the idea of comparative advantage. A country will have comparative advantage in a good that it has its greatest productivity advantage or smallest productivity disadvantage in. Also, we can think of it as the goods that a nation can produce at a lower cost when measured in terms of opportunity cost. Comparative advantage is going to be important when one country holds the absolute advantage in both goods that we're going to look at. We're going to again use our two good, two country example. In this example, our two countries, the United States and Mexico, produce two goods, cars and TVs. In the United States, one worker can produce 50 cars or 60 TVs. In Mexico, the equivalent worker can produce with the equivalent resources 10 cars or 40 TVs. We can see that the United States has an absolute advantage in producing both cars and TVs. That is, using the same resources, the United States can produce more cars and more TVs than Mexico. But does that mean that the United States should then specialize in both cars and TVs and let our friends to the south of the border take siesta all day? No, absolutely not. We can find ways to trade and make both countries better off. What we're going to need to do is find out in which good does each country hold a comparative advantage. When finding a comparative advantage, we need to find who holds an opportunity cost advantage. First, let's figure out the opportunity cost of cars and TVs in the United States. We know the United States can produce either 50 cars or 60 TVs with a single worker. To solve first for cars, we need to divide both sides by the number of cars that are being produced. That is, we will divide both sides by 50. And that'll tell us that the opportunity cost of one car is 60 fiftieths, or 6 fifths, or about 1.2 TVs. We know that the opportunity cost of TVs is going to be the reciprocal of that, but again, we're going to show it so we can all see how we get our answer. We know 60 TVs equals 50 cars. We need to divide both sides by the number of TVs that are being produced. That would be dividing both sides by 60, or that one television equals 50 sixtieths, or 5 sixths, or about 0.83 cars. That's only half of the story though, and now we need to find out the same thing for Mexico. In Mexico, a single worker can make 10 cars or 40 TVs. So we know 10 cars are equivalent to 40 TVs. To solve for cars, we first need to divide both sides by the number of cars being produced, which would be 10. That gives us the answer of one car equals four TVs. We know for sure that one TV is going to equal the reciprocal one quarter of a car, but we're going to again do the math to show everyone how it's done. We know that 40 TVs equals 10 cars. We're going to divide both sides by the number of TVs produced. That is indeed 40, which gives us the answer, one TV equals 10 40ths, or 1 4th, or 0.25 of a car. Now, we have to decide which country holds the comparative advantage in cars, and which country holds the comparative advantage in TVs. Let's go back to the definition. Comparative advantage is found in the goods that a nation can produce at a lower cost when measured in terms of opportunity cost. So let's take a look at cars first. In the United States, the opportunity cost of producing one car is that they have to give up 1.2 TVs. In Mexico, the opportunity cost of producing one car is that they have to give up four TVs. Now, in which country do they have to give up less TVs to make a single car? If you said to me, 
that 1.2 is less than 4, and therefore the United States holds the comparative advantage in cars, you would be correct. On the other side, we find that in the United States, the opportunity cost of producing one TV is equal to 0.83 of a car. In Mexico, the opportunity cost of making one TV is giving up 0.25 of a car. Which country holds the comparative advantage in TVs? If you said to me that 0.25 is smaller than 0.83 and therefore Mexico has the comparative advantage in TVs, you would be correct. So again, when we compare the opportunity cost of cars, we find that the United States gives up a smaller amount of TVs with which to get a single car. Therefore, they hold the comparative advantage in cars. When we take a look at the opportunity cost of producing TVs, we find that Mexico gives up fewer cars to make a single TV, and therefore, they have the comparative advantage in TVs. Now, with comparative advantages, the United States won't just produce all cars and have Mexico produce all TVs and trade. So the United States will end up specializing more in cars and Mexico will end up specializing more in TVs. And that's going to come down to the fact that Mexico has to make up for the United States absolute advantage. Let's look back and see why trade is going to happen the way it does. Assuming that both countries split their workers 25 on cars, 25 on TVs, as the United States begins to pull workers from TVs and put them on producing cars, Mexico is going to have to pull more workers off of cars and put them towards TVs to keep increasing the amount of cars and TVs in the world market. For example, let's say the United States takes one worker off of TVs and moves them towards cars. If that's the case, What's the overall change in the number of cars and televisions? We'll add 50 cars to the world's output, but take away 60 TVs. So if Mexico only moves one worker from cars to TVs, they will lose 10 cars and gain 40 TVs. The overall outcome there is, yes, we gain 40 cars, but we lose 20 TVs in overall output. So Mexico is going to have to take an additional worker and move them over to TVs as well. And that's going to give us a final outcome of adding 30 cars and 20 TVs. Opportunity costs are going to set the boundary of trade, but absolute advantages are going to set up how many workers are going to specialize in each area. So comparative advantage shows us that gains from international trade don't just result from the absolute advantage of producing at a lower cost, but also from pursuing comparative advantage in producing at a lower opportunity cost.